Mamelodi Sundowns have been busy in the transfer market recently, snapping out South American talent like midfield maestro Lucas Ribeiro and Marcelo Allende. Recently, they signed Matthias Escoval from Club Atletico Liners. But what's behind this love affair with South American players? In this video, we'll delve into the tactics behind it and explain why Mamelodi Sundowns are willing to sign a player worth over 40 million just to come play in PSL. To understand why Mamelodi Sundowns are splashing up to 51 million rand on a single South American player, we need to look at the playing styles of both South American teams and Mamelodi Sundowns themselves. Mamelodi Sundowns' playing style closely resembles the style of football played in South America. While coach Rulana Mukwena may be inspired by Pep Guardiola, his philosophy is different. Instead of Manchester City's position-based play, Mamelodi Sundowns plays a more fluid and dynamic style called Relationism, also known as functional play. This approach, popularized in South America, the style thrives on quick shot passing and players moving closer to each other rather than moving wide to stretch the pitch. Think of it this way. In a Man City game, you'll see players hugging the touchlines, occupying the half spaces and maintaining a stretched formation. Contrast that with Mamelodi Sundowns whose players are always in close proximity. Or a South American team like Fluminense, where players cluster in pockets of the field, exchanging quick passes to break through defenses. Here's an average position for Man City players during a match. We can clearly see that their average position is slightly wide, compared to one of Fluminense who are clustered on the left side of the field. Now here's Mamelodi Sundowns' average position for their players during a match. You can see that they are clustered in the middle. Since South American teams excel in this style, it makes sense for Sundowns to invest in its pioneers, the South American players. These players bring in-depth understanding and mastery of the system, boosting Mamelodi Sundowns' dominance in Africa. With the Club World Cup looming, Sundowns are sharpening their claws. They are not just throwing money around. They are strategically building a team capable of competing with global giants. Their goal is not to ruin PSO, but to elevate themselves and South African football into the world stage. Well, share your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think of Mamelodi Sundowns' shopping spree? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more football-related content. Thank you for watching.